Hi everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and this is a, a reading for our week uh, starting tomorrow, Monday, um, the 4th of March to the 7th of March. And um, in these days, um, I've got Archangel Michael here again with us for shielding and protection, and Archangel Metatron. And I'm going to be working, um, I pulled two cards as um, outcomes. Um, an overall view of the week and the, the first card is uh, Sacred Geometry by Janosh and I pulled a card from the Wisdom of Mary Magdalene. The reason I've already got cards pulled out here is because I started the video and then I got stuck so I had to, to redo but I, I wanted to use the cards that originally come out. Um, uh, this this 21 day journey that I've started um, I want to give a little bit of an explanation. Um, I decided or it came to me that I should use the Major Arcana Tarot to follow it as a focus um, to really delving deeper into the I Am Presence and and really uh, exploring all of the different aspects of it. So I've already did uh, the Fool and the Magician and um, then going on to the High Priestess for tomorrow, for Monday. And um, it's allowing me uh, to really kind of uh, explore myself as a teacher, um, what really comes in through my own intuition and my deeper sense. So starting with that, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first card with um, the sacred geometry and it's you know the flower it looks like the flower of life to me and it's all green this really verdant green energies of healing of heart centeredness of the heart chakra really going within to find that information that that can bring about healing in your life and this is the card of remembrance. So it, they want us, he, with this card, they want us to know that we have everything we need inside of us. We just need to remember and bring it forth to be able to uh, manifest it into this reality. So there is a lot of, of information that we have access to if we'll only just remember. And the way to do that is through heart-centered, deep, meditation and through that heart center deep penetration is how we affect healing in our lives for anything that is um, seen as fears or obstacles or illusions of this physical uh, reality the card that I pulled from the Mary Magdalene a beautiful card and this is uh, the wisdom with the teacher and it states here at the bottom Mary said I will teach you what is hidden from you so again, going deep within, she's got her hand up, kind of like, you know, stop, stop right there. Really delve deep, go within, listen to your intuition. Um, she has her scroll here of all the knowledge, and it really reminds me of the Akashics. Um, she has her golden halo, and her aura is glowing. She's very humble with this very simple, non-adorned, uh, dress, uh, looking straight at us and really wanting us to get the message that what is it within you that uh, you want to teach to the world? What are you pulling out of you? What uh, to, to be careful with uh, what you're saying, what your words are, what your deeds are. How is it that you're going to be the example of what you want to bring into this world? And um, as far as um, teaching, really sit, think, sit, take a moment to step back and stop and go within to find that which is within you that is only what you have to give. So very appropriate for everything for the path that I'm on. Um, I pulled four cards from uh, Ciro Marchetti's Divine Tarot. Um, I really love his... Um, I love this tarot because it's based on uh, Atlantean thought, uh, bringing wisdom from the uh, from a time where things were highly evolved spiritually. 
And um, then I decided to pull cards from The Path of the Soul uh, by Cheryl Lee Cornish uh, to go with that. So let's go and start with our first card. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Okay, I've like been pulling this card. Every time I use this tarot, I get this card. So Ace of Wands, intuition, creativity, the birthing of something new, this new beginning of really tapping into your intuition and bringing it out and forging it. Like this sword here is being forged from this fire, volcanic, uh, uh, earth core energy and you have your dragons here and then as it comes up and it it has this uh six points of uh, information of light of illumination of wisdom so really being able to tap into that deep inner uh forging of um of information, of intuition, and creativity to bring that out into uh, this this plane and to be able to use this as a, a new path for yourself, really fire element, uh, very uh, creative, uh, super energies, and to know that you just need to get started on whatever it is that is your path. Okay, great. Green, very green. I don't know if you can tell. It looks kind of black, but it's this is all green, green, green energies. And it is the number 12, which is really appropriate because today is a 12 day. Um, I'm actually doing this on Sunday, so um, I've, I've had that in my mind today. And this is the card um, that says fertile. So it's a card of creation. So very appropriate that it, we have it uh, tied up with the Ace of Wands. And it's really encouraging you to do groundbreaking work, uh, to really set your, 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 your deepest, what are your deepest desires, your dreams, your ideas, um, that everything is in the right uh, condition to start bringing the world of thought into form. Very appropriate. That's going to be for Monday. Then for Tuesday, we have the Two of Wands. Um, uh, normally, this is this is a card that means that you have um, a choice to make. Um, but I believe we have um, um, two wonderful options, two wonderful things that can be tied together, and that there's one key that, to me, unlocks them both. So. Maybe there's something in your life is to do different things of how you're going to make it work into something new. And I think that's really representative of what I'm doing with following the fool's path, the awakened fool's path um, of the Tarot, the Major Arcana, and pairing it with the I Am Presence. So well, that's very, very for me, these cards, I think. And oh, beautiful energies. I love that you have this uh, yellowish green energy here uh, in the middle and it just seems to be spiraling out into directions and this very deep beautiful blue I'm really called to that blue thinking of um, perhaps throat chakra uh, you know how you speak uh, releasing yourself from fears um, uh, creating new things and this is the magical card so it says to really embrace that which is magical within you and within your day-to-day -day experience and to remember um, things that came up from childhood that um, to really uh, be, uh, this to me reminds me of the enchantment card of the, the unicorns and it's really calling the the universe is asking you to remember your childlike innocence when you believed in magic and that all things anything could happen if you believed in magic and how your life is transformed through magical process of remembering that innocence and childlike wonder and uh, really see this as a mystical adventure that we are on and that we can, through the I Am Presence, create anything we want in our world. And then we go to Wednesday. Oh, she's really 
beautiful energy of the Queen of Swords. She's got her crown chakra totally illuminated, connected to her third eye. Um, this wonderful, very determined sense uh, in her eyes. And I think she is um, this great blend of the feminine with the masculine energies. I think that in the Queen of Swords, we have that balance um, uh, being able to uh, bring our thoughts um, into, into reality by our determination, our intelligence, um, our independence. And um, it, it seems that um, she's holding like this, it looks like, okay, so here you have the shadow that looks like a fan, but they're actually like swords. So um, it's kind of a, a, a feminine, but very strong feminine um, energy. Um, and I think it's one of offering us justice and uh, development and independence. Uh, so perhaps also um, if you're making a decision regarding some type of legal matter, um, that you'll be able to use your intellect to be able to really cut to the chase and really um, cut away things that um, are superfluous in your life. And the card that goes with this beautiful, very clear, white, um, very bright, delicate energies. I mean, it just seems as a, a God sense to me. And um, it is the card of nature, which is kind of interesting since it's so brilliant, so white. I mean, it's just so much energy in nature. And that's really telling us to, um, to be able to get us back on track, to really be able to get with, um, with that connection with our independent self and our uh, abilities to, to think um, is to be able to go out into nature to find the balance that will allow this to, to really be able to come out and give you focused uh, thought and uh, to really feel yourself connected through your higher self and through your heart by going out into nature and rooting yourself into um, into Mother Earth, uh, really. It's very interesting. And then Thursday's card, oh, we get another ace, and we have the Ace of Coins. So very Earth energies again. Um, really, that that's going to lead us into creating, uh, into our physical manifestation, um, you know, what it is that are, is our heart's desires, everything that has to do with our material and our, um, our, our physical way of having things and our bounty, contentment, comfort, uh, the gifts of, of plenty and abundance and uh, really uh, prosperous in new, in new financial enterprises. So, oh wow. And this is a fantastic uh, card. Um, you'll see his face is right here in the center. And this is the guide of, it's called Chenrisi Manifestation. So very appropriate with our Ace of Coins manifesting into the physical. He comes to help us relieve us of our issues, of our burdens and our problems, and to really create on a new level and to be fulfilled, um, their free flow, to allow us the free flow of manifestation and abundance and prosperity, to really see us focused on our blessings through nature in order to have those blessings come through in prosperity and abundance for the physical part of our lives. So uh, I, I kind of see it as they're very um, new starting energies because we have the Ace and the Two of Wands, um, the Queen of Swords coming in with a very concentrated, focused, determined, and um, the Ace of Coins leading us into the manifestation of our prosperity and abundance. And using uh, understanding about 
the fertility of the Mother Earth, of uh, really bringing those heart chakra centered energies and remembering that we are magical and that through nature comes great manifestation. So uh, actually really positive, wonderful energies today. And I know a lot of us has kind of been slow and kind of been in a retreat type of uh, thinking this weekend. Um, but I really think that that's going to help propel us forward into next week and really allow these energies to come into play. So I send you many, many blessings. Thank you, all of you who have been uh, reading my blogs, following my journey, really uh, feeling the love and support. Um, for those who have uh, booked readings with me and um, those who have been, of course, as always, following me on YouTube. Thank you so much. I, I really um, am, am in grateful to, to all that I have achieved in YouTube in such a short amount of time. And it really gives me pleasure to do these readings for you. So I send you many blessings today. Namaste.